Hello, my name's Rachel from The Fold Line, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you create wish lists on our website. First thing to do is head to www.thefoldline.com. And if you haven't logged in already, you can do that by clicking on the icon at the top right hand side of the website. You can add your details here to log into your account or create one. On the right hand side, we've got all of these options, including pattern library and wish list. Here you'll see that I've created two wish lists, one for birthday outfit ideas and another for spring wardrobe ideas. You can create as many wish lists as you would like. Let's take a look in one of my wish lists. Here you'll see patterns that I've added to my wish list. You've got a photo of the garment, the product name with the type of pattern that you'd like to order, whether that's paper, PDF or PDF and copy shop, the price, the date you added it and whether we have it in stock or not. It's also really easy to add any patterns from your wish list to your basket by clicking on add to cart on the right hand side. If you'd like to create a new wish list, you can just click on this button here, create wish list and give it a name. I'm going to call this one festive present ideas because I want to send it to my friends and family to give them some ideas of what they might want to buy me for Christmas if I'm lucky. You've got three options when you create a wish list. You can make it public so that anyone can see your wish list and you can also share the link. You can click on the share button, which means that only people that you sent the link can see the list, or you can set it to private so that you're the only one that can see it. And now I've got a wish list here. So I'm going to search and add some patterns to the wish list. Here's the Zadie jumpsuit. The first thing I need to do is select the pattern type uh, that I would like to have the pattern in. So either paper, PDF or PDF from copy shop. So I'm going to select paper because I'm hoping that someone will send it to me as a gift. Then click on add to wish list. And from the drop down menu, select the wish list that you would like to add it to. And then click add to wish list. Once you've had the confirmation, we can go and have a look at the wish list. And here you'll see there's the Zadie jumpsuit. There's other things that you can do as well with your wish lists. So you can have a look at all wish lists. So this is everybody that's a customer on our website that set their wish list to public. And we've got 76 pages of people's wish lists, which will give you some ideas on other things that you might want to make. You can also set up notifications so that when a product comes back in stock, it will send you an email. If you just click the box here and then click update settings. You can also search your wish list as well to look for a pattern or other product that you might have added. And it's as simple as that. You can create as many wish lists as you would like. You can also bulk edit them as well. So if I click all my wish lists here, I can delete them all, set them all to public, share or private. And any changes that I make to the name or the privacy settings, I can save here. If you'd like to send a wish list to friends or family, perhaps around your time of your birth date or another um, time of year that you're celebrating such as Christmas you click on your wish list and then go to the top and highlight the URL so if you highlight it first and then copy it you'll see that it says wish list and then it's got a unique code at the end if you add that to an email and send it to friends or family that will let them look at all the products that you've added to the wish list if you'd like any help with creating or using wish lists then please do contact our customer service team at hello at thefoldline.com.